Hey everyone, Cody here from the Product Ace Designer team. With Product Ace Designer, you can design custom enclosures really quickly and easily because you don't have to start from scratch. You'll start with a template and then customize it, which means you can be confident knowing your design will be able to be manufactured. In today's tutorial, we'll be going over how to get started with creating your enclosure in Product Ace Designer. When you first open Product Ace Designer, you'll see the startup dialog. Click on New File to start a new design. Or, if you close out of the startup dialog, you can start a new template by clicking New under Project. So this is the template selector. In Protocase Designer, this is your starting point for choosing the template you want to customize with cutouts, fasteners, graphics, and more. There are quite a few different templates for different enclosure styles and brackets, such as 1 and 2U extruded aluminum enclosures, 5-sided enclosures, different brackets, computer enclosures, consulate enclosures, panels, rack mount enclosures, U-shape enclosures, L-shape enclosures, and even pelican panels. For this template, we're going to start with a U-shape. At the top of the dialog, you'll see a description of your selected enclosure. Below that is an image detailing how the dimensions correspond to which area of the enclosure. Next to that, you'll see an area which lists out any design considerations for the selected enclosure, if there are any. Below that is where you'll configure the properties of your template. This is a critical step in creating a specific CAD template that will suit your needs. You will need to select your default finish, metal type, and metal thickness in the first tab called Metal Options. Next, you'll need to tell Protocase Designer the dimensions you want for your design. If you're unsure on which dimension corresponds to which area of your enclosure, the graphic above is a great reference. You can always change your preferences if you prefer to go with metric or imperial, but we'll cover that in a later video. Next we have hardware, which is where you'll decide which kind of fasteners to use handles, or other hardware items specific to each template. Design classifications allow you to tag your design with one of the security designations below, or add your own. Extras is where you will find any other property that is customizable on the selected template that does not fit into the previous categories we just went over. If there are no extra properties on your selected template, this category will be disabled. Now you've got your starting point to start customizing your design. If you decide you want to change your template, perhaps with a different material or tweak the dimensions, you can do so whenever you'd like by clicking on the Properties button under Template. Now you're right back into the template dialog. You can see all of the same tabs as before where you can change up your finish, material, thickness, dimensions, and more. When you're happy with your changes, click OK. That concludes our first tutorial on getting started with creating your very first enclosure. In the next video, we'll go over how to start customizing your enclosure with cutouts, graphics, fasteners, and more. Thanks for watching.